everyone. Today I'm working on some fall decor. This is going to be a tree display. So I'm going to use some branches to create a fall or Halloween tree, depending on how you want to style it. So in this case, I'm making it for a Halloween display that I'm working on. It helps to have a heavy base. So you want to start by finding some kind of planter or urn. The Goodwill is a good place to find different kind of like old timey or intricate old fashioned bases or containers. So let's start by painting this. I'm going to give this a little bit of a makeover because I want it to look dark. very top might show slightly, so I'll just paint a little bit inside. Now that our base coat of dark gray is all dry, let's add a second layer on top of this in a lighter gray. Just kind of lightly brush over it so that the details are still dark gray and just the top parts have the lighter gray to give it that kind of aged look. Okay, over the top of that, I am going to splatter a few little black um, dots. You can mix a little bit of water in your paint. Put it down. And I might put a little bit of this dark green. So if you have a toothbrush or um, any kind of hard bristle brush, you can get um, some watered down paint and just kind of splatter little dots, but really subtle so that you don't have these just chunks of solid gray. You want to give it that kind of cement look. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but with very light gray paint. A little more texture. Now I'm going to cut this foam to fit. Um, and hit, you know, right around there so that we can use this to put the branches in and then hide it below underneath the moss. part of arranging all these spooky branches to make a tree. So these are old dead rhododendron branches that I just pulled out of my yard. I pruned a while back and they have lots of different little branches on here that'll be good for holding lanterns but check your yard there might be something else that's perfect. So I'm gonna just try to arrange them with the branches coming out one side but somewhat flat on the other side so that I can put them up towards a wall. Probably can't go wrong because any arrangement is going to be very weird and spooky.
some of these already have spider webs. Definitely wonky and creepy. So I think I'm gonna glue this in place and then maybe prune it a little more after. I'm trying to remember how I had it. Probably not supposed to use hot glue with foam. In the past, I've used like tacky glue, um, which you kind of like put on there, let it dry for like 30 seconds, and then set the sticks in there. And that might be better than hot glue, which could melt the foam. I'm going to add some moss to cover up this floral foam and finish this tree and then make some lanterns. And for this I will use the tacky glue to help hold this moss in place. Let that set for a minute. So right now this tree would work for Halloween or just fall decor if you wanted, but I want it to be very much for Halloween. So I am making these spooky little wonky lanterns with black LED candles from Joanne Fabric and 12 gauge wire also from Joanne Fabric and in black. And I'm going to place these on different branches to make this tree extra creepy and definitely for Halloween. You'll see that these lanterns are a little goofy looking, definitely not perfect, and that's just part of the effect. Because the wonkier and creepier they are, the better this tree is going to look. So I've got wire snips and pliers that I can use to kind of bend the wire and cut the wire. But really this wire is pretty easy to bend. And I'm not doing any particular pattern, but what I've been doing is kind of spiral them around to give a base for the candle to be on, but each one will be a little bit different, I think. And then I use that as one of my prongs, and cut two more prongs. Pinch that in place. That one's extra wonky. I'll put this in the back. Our Halloween tree is ready to go in any Halloween display or fall decor. You can always do this in a different style. You could do all black. You could paint these branches if you wanted like a solid black or more of a glam Halloween. You could do glitter paint or you could do total autumn colors, do you know reds and yellows and golds. Um, but in my case, this is going to be going in a spooky Halloween display coming soon. So subscribe and come back soon to check out the display that I put this in. Thanks for watching.